mindfulness is important because it's the po folks whose solution that makes creates homefulness, and so it gives hope that we don't have to settle for or wait or die on the streets and wait for the city to care about us because they don't give a damn about us. But it's like we always say, there is power in the people. Homefulness is important because it's not just about throwing people into a house, but it's more about having the community support um, once we get housed and keeping us, checking in on us and making sure that we're still okay, making sure that we are connected with resources that we lost from being stripped away from our communities on the street. So. My name is Israel and I'm from Houseless. Hopefulness is very important for me because they give you the, the opportunity to learn about yourself and believe in yourself and a community, they always helping you. Well, I just want to thank everyone for welcome, welcoming us uh, with open arms. Um, Homefulness means foundation, stability, family. Homefulness can be your step one for your gro for your growth as an adult, meaning just like me, for instance, this would be my first place that I can claim to be mine. Homefulness is family. Positive shelter for from from the outside and and a positive <clears throat> organization and move in the direction of having the old way come alive again where rent is not a way of life mm. and 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 mortgage and our our land is not for sale openness is important because it actually creates um a solution for folks who are on the streets or um it's important because it has a it houses so many important programs we have our homeschool program decolonized academy we have um a radio we have journalism the pedagogy around what we're doing there's a lot of um there's those missing pieces are so important because people are doing all this diversity this diversity that building all these solutions or what they think solution for housing is but it's not actually solving the problem homefulness solves a lot of problems it creates so many solutions that is holistic that thinks about the whole person homefulness is very important for me because i lived for homefulness is important for me because I was uh, houseless living in the van about 14 years. Y en una ocasión pensaba yo, ¿cuándo tendré una un cuarto? And I always dream of like, when am I going to have a, my own room? Y pues me siento bien estar en un en un en un protegido en un cuarto. In una casa. Again, I feel Aquí protected, en... being in the home, being here at homefulness, having my room. Um, hello, my name is Angel Hart. I'm formerly Houseless Poverty Scholar and now homefulness resident for a year and a half, which I'm very grateful for. Um, homefulness means to me an opportunity to be housed without the um, trauma of capitalism and um, having the opportunity to heal, to focus on giving my time and energy to community and not having to give it to punching someone's clock or knowing that now as an elder, as a grandmother, that if I get sick, I'm not gonna be kicked out as an elder, which is could equal death. The real estate market in the Bay Area for the past 20 years that I've, 20 so years that I've lived here have always been ridiculous and inflationary thereby locking out many people who are low income out of trying to get a home to live in. Porque así tiene un apoyo al otro y así es una comunidad que seamos unidos siempre de corazón y de mente. No no más de mente. So it's because it's important to have the community to support each other. It's important to be a uh, supporter from the, from the mind and, and the heart, not only from the mind. We gain as a, a migrante, you know, running away from poverty from Michoacan, Mexico, like a lot of migrante people, uh, this place, uh, never having a home, like uh, many of our poverty scholars, comrade, uh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to have a place where you feel safe, 
uh, also, you know, the dreams of our ancestors. For the last 520 years, 530 years, uh, our ancestors dream of a place like that. It was led by poor people, by people who come out of struggle, out of poverty, uh, no non profiteers but this is a true grassroots movement of poor people, uh, you know, uh, creating our own solutions. And so it's a blessing not only to help build it, but be part here. My mom, too, uh, <clears throat> one of the teachings of uh, uh, my sister Tiny and Mama D, uh, the eldership. So my, uh, the fact that I'm able to care for my mom, who's an elder, uh, this is a community, it's a village. And it's a blessing that not only this is a beautiful homefulness that is up and running with families, community, but please help us build homefulness two, for homefulness three and four, and whatever then there needs to be a homefulness. You see us houseless mamas and daughters sleeping in those tents? That's because we don't got money for the rent. I'm a poverty scholar, always in struggle for one dollar. I deal with the trauma of being a houseless mama and a houseless daughter. And for the first time in my life, I don't gotta worry about being on the roadside because of homefulness built by us as poor and houseless peoples, four fellow poor and houseless peoples, this poor mama and daughter has a roof, rent-free, forever housing. Couldn't have happened without folks with race and class privilege radically redistributing so that poor and houseless people could create our own self-determined solutions Change won't come from a savior, a pimp, or an institution, relatives. Change will only come from a poor people-led revolution. Gratitude, love, oh, oh my Dale.